Hey Scotties, I'm Hottie Jackson, Editor-in-Chief of the Scotty Channel. Welcome to G-Town You Know. On today's episode, the GHS Duckle Club wins awards at their regional competition. Our academic team hosts the third annual Jesse Brown Small School Showcase and a GHS alum leads the art workshop. We also preview an upcoming host of Blood Drive and we recap the latest in Scotty Sports news. But first, we have Will Perosi with the headlines. Good morning, Scotties. I'm Will Perosi, and these are the headlines. The GHS academic team won the third annual Jesse Brown Small School Showcase last Saturday, defeating defending national champion Westmont, Illinois. Griffin Reed, Robert Oliver, Caleb West, and my evil twin William Perosi finished the event with a perfect 9-0 record. Reed was also named as the top individual scorer. The Scotty Channel speaks with Todd Garrison and these four students later this episode. Interested in participating in track as a sprinter, thrower, jumper, or long distance runner? See Coach Pippen in the gym. The GHS DECA Club recently competed at Region and their merits will be featured later on this episode. HOSA will be hosting a blood drive next week and the Scotty Channel will preview this event later this episode. Meanwhile, on Groundhog Day, Puxatawney Phil saw his shadow prompting six more weeks of winter. Why are we still trusting our weather forecasting with a rodent that lives underground and only comes out to eat every few hours? <laughs> Meanwhile, a 1990 Madden game set a new auction price record at $480,000. And I thought $70 was too much. Meanwhile, a Michigan man recently won $430,000 off a lottery ticket that he forgot about buying. The man said he will remodel his house and give some of the money to charity. Personally, I think he should take 50 k out of his savings and buy the Madden game instead. <laughs> and those are our headlines. See you all next time. Here's another Scotty Channel reporter with our next segment. Next week, HOSA will be hosting a blood drive and there will be sign-ups during lunch. Here are some Scotty reporters filling you in on information. I'm Heidi Jackson, and I'm here with Amy Bowman. And can you tell us a little bit about the blood drive? HOSA is hosting the American Red Cross blood drive on February 10th. It's for students and staff uh, to come donate. We, Our nation is in a critical shortage, the uh, greatest shortage that we've seen in over a decade because of the pandemic. People haven't donated, and uh, so it's a great opportunity to help out everybody. And what is the importance of donating blood? Um, well, this is just a great need. Hospitals everywhere, um, people always need donations. And, and the fact that we're in a shortage, it's even a greater need now than before. I'm Luther Fields, and I'm here with... Chloe Garman. And you're a certified nursing assistant. What do you think is the importance of giving blood? As a certified nurse's assistant, I see people pass away every day, basically, and... I think that donating blood is a good way to prevent this from happening to the younger people in our generation. I'm Namaya, and I'm here with Karen Johnson. Have you donated blood? Yes, I have several times. What do you think is important about donating blood? Well, with us being in a national shortage of blood right now, it's very important because uh, people in need of blood with car wrecks and surgeries and Especially with the COVID, people are there's a shortage of people even willing to go donate. I'm here with Miss Black. And what is the importance of giving blood? Well, it's really important. I received blood about 30 years ago. I had a complication during childbirth and had to get two units of blood and probably wouldn't be here had I not gotten it. So everybody give blood. Welcome back, Scotties, to another episode of the Scotty Channel. I'm here with Megan, and I am Bailey Birdsell, and today we have an artist um, in the school building. She is teaching our students how to bookbind, and she was actually an alumni from Glasgow High School, so this is super exciting. So you can use lots of things for the cover. So I'm Bailey Birdsell, I'm here with artist Gloria Carico. I have been so excited all week to be able to come back, and Nellie and I have a long relationship of being uh, art teaching or art teachers together at Western. And when I saw her and I said I would love to do this, I've just been really excited ever since then. She came to Glasgow High School to teach our two students about bookbinding using the French ladder stitch. You 
are making this book. Okay, I was going to Greece a couple of years ago, and so I made this book for my journal, and this is the map of where I was going. We talked to some students from Glasgow about how they felt dealing with an alumni. I'm here with Jade Mullins. And how did it feel to have a Glasgow alumni here? It was good to meet someone who also aspires to do art to graduate from here. So what advice do you give people that are going into your career? Oh my goodness. Uh, be open to any kind of opportunities that offer themselves up to you. Don't be afraid to try new things. Network, really important to network. That means getting out and meeting people in lots of different areas. What was the most rewarding thing you've done in your career? Oh my goodness, being a teacher. And we'll be back right after this commercial break. <laughs> Yo, John, I wish we could watch a Scotty Channel. You can right now at scottychannel.com. I'm K Stock. And I'm Ashton. And I'm Mason. Today it's going to be about a 67 degrees. There's a cool two mile per hour wind to the east. If you ask me, I think it's a bad night to be a Trojan. Hey Scotties, I'm Jagger Jones, sports editor of the Scotty Channel. The GHS boys basketball team improved a 2-1 in district play after defeating Monroe County 48-43 on the road. Senior guard Sam Bowling scored a team-high 17 points, followed by senior guard Ashton Serwinski with 15. Serwinski also grabbed eight rebounds while senior point guard Jackson Poland tallied seven assists. Since the Falcons will be leaving the 15th district next season, this may be the Scotties' last trip to Tompkinsville for the foreseeable future. Glasgow hosts Barron County tonight, and when the Scotties faced their crosstown rivals last week, they dropped a 55-52 nail-biter, with Sam Bowling scoring 19 points. Heading into tonight's home matchup against the Trojanettes, the ladies' Scotty basketball team is currently sitting at 10-10 and on the season. Junior guard Mia Cassidy leads the team with 281 total points, and sophomore forward Chloe Hill has collected a team-high 141 rebounds. Former Lady Scotty standout Bree Glover recently reached 100 career blocks for Lindsey Wilson after racking up five blocks against Bethel. The GHS swim team competed at Region this week. The Scotty Channel spoke to some members of the team about their preparation for this competition. Over the past several months, GHS swimmers have put a lot of hard work and determination into the 2021 and 2022 season. We get to interview some of those swimmers and ask them what their motivations are for region, their favorite memory, and who they look up to on the team. We also get their thoughts on the new coach. We wish all the swimmers good luck at region. Go Scotties. I'm Bailey Birdsell. I'm here with Andrew West, Nana McMurtry, Gabby Houchins, Emery Gardner, Riley Phillips. And what gets you motivated for region? Being able to go with the rest of the girls on the team and um, Anna and Olivia, the other two seniors. It's going to be a lot of fun just to be able to go swim with everyone one last time. Mainly just going to practices and trying to get faster times, I guess, and trying to just beat everything that I've done so far and put it all out at Owensboro. Um, honestly, finals on Saturday. I'm really hoping to make that. Just the thrill of the cold water. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we've all worked so hard this season, and it's really exciting to see just what all we can produce with all of our hard work. And do you have a favorite memory from the swim team? Probably just region last year, honestly, but I might make that up for region this year. So. In a big meet earlier this season, I dared Anna to cannonball off the block in warm-ups, and she actually did it, and everybody looked at her. Very first meet, just going having fun with all my friends that I've made. Not one in particular, but I just think all the practices where I was with my friends and we all just got to talk and get better and, you know. The seniors, especially Anna McKeever, I've been looking up to her and we've been swimming since the YMCA Swim League and so I'll miss her this year and we're just ready to go into regions with our team. So Coach Dickey is new this year. Um, how is she as a coach? She's a great coach, taught me a lot. Oh, Coach Dickey's the sweetest. I love her. I hope she's watching this. Hey, Coach Dickey. Coach Dickey, she's amazing. She's very inspirational. She always has a smile on her face. I've never heard a negative comment out of her mouth, so she's one of the best coaches I could ever ask for. Awesome. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> this past Tuesday, we had four students move on to finals 
after the regional swimming competition in Owensboro. These four students are Nina McMurtry, Emery Gardner, Anna McKeever, and Katie Jo Simmons. We wish them the best of luck at finals. The boys' region have, has been postponed to Saturday, February 5th due to weather, and finals for boys and girls will be held February 6th. Until next time, follow GHS Athletics on social media for the latest in Scotty Sports news. Hey Scotties, I'm Luke Allen, and today we are recognizing the awards that our DECA Club won while attending their Region 2 conference at WKU. Sam Allen placed first in automotive service marketing. Olivia Allen and Katie Jo Simmons also placed first in financial service team. Luke Allen and Tanner Webb placed first in buying and merchandising team. Lindsay Belcher placed first in apparel and accessories marketing. Ali Bonner and Braden Swinsky placed fourth in marketing management team. Kenzie Bonner placed third in hotel and lodging management and also won the Region 2 scholarship. Jackson Bauer won third in retail merchandising. Luke Harden brought home second in food marketing. Anna McKeever placed fifth in business finance. Amara Contreras, Stacy Lorenzana placed fourth in travel and tourism team. Desiah Driver and Summer Green took home six in travel and tourism team. Creighton and Hewitt Lessonberry placed second in business and law and ethics team. Z Hassan and Clay Pippen placed third in marketing management team. Nia McMurtry brought home first in quick serve restaurant management. Jackson Moore and Bo Shelton won six in sports and entertainment marketing team. Caroline Murphy won second in apparel and accessories. Eleanor Woody won first in human resource management. And Glasgow was also recognized for second place and largest increase in membership over the year. Caroline Murphy was also elected Region VP of Finance. What's up, Scotties? I'm Ryan Randall, and I'm here with... Caroline Murphy. So what position were you elected to for DECA? I am the Vice President of Finance for Regional DECA. That's awesome. Can you describe how this process works? Um, so basically, you prepare a little speech, and you have delegates that vote for you. And there's about four Vice Presidents and one President. Wow, that's awesome. Do you have any plans for your role? Um, basically just trying to be financially strong within the DECA club. Mark Gibson also won the Advisor of the Year for Region 2. Hey, Scott, is this Landon Gillette, and I'm here with... Creighton Lessonberry. What makes you think Mr. G deserves Regional DECA Advisor of the Year? I mean, he's devoted to every student on, like, an individual basis, so it's easy to work in his class and get stuff done. What's up, Scott? Is I'm Ryan Randall, and I'm here with... Hewitt Lessonberry. Luke Harden. Nina McMurtry. How would you guys describe G as a teacher? You can tell he loves business and he loves all of his students and he definitely cares about all of us a lot. He knows what he's talking about. I've had him all four years of high school and I've learned so much from him. Thank you guys so much. Go Scotties. This past weekend our academic team took first place in the Jesse Brown Quiz Bowl Tournament. I'm Heidi Jackson and I'm here with... Todd Garrison. And how did your team play overall? Uh, we had a great event. Uh, we won all of our games uh, with a 9-0 and record against um, uh, teams from all over the country. What did you learn about your team in the final game? Um, when we started the game against Westmont out, um, both teams were playing for the championship, and uh, Westmont opened up with a really nice run and got up by like 100 points. Um, so I was pleased to see my guys not panic and start, you know, panic buzzing and things like that and they got it back tied by halftime and then just really played probably the best match I've seen in a while. I'm Luther Fields and I'm here with Robert Oliver, Will Perosi, Griffin Reed, Caleb West. And uh, you placed first in the quiz bowl tournament. How did you prepare to do that? We practice a lot. We practice every day after school. Um, we got we often actually just played against our coach. Garrison usually gives us a bunch of topics of like questions they're going to ask and usually clues they're going to ask so I usually I what I do is I put them in Quizlet so I can help memorize them and then that's been pretty effective. I've heard Garrison is a really good coach for you all. What do you think makes him so effective? He knows us down to just the absolute T. He knows he like it, it all comes down to you know like if he texts something or anything like that he knows that if he words it a certain way like we won't we won't know what he's talking about and he puts together the notes in a certain way that he knows will help us learn the best. And if we're suffering from burnout or maybe 
just kind of need a break, he makes sure we have a break. And then when we're back 100%, he keeps us going where we can get better and continue to perform at a high level. Well, he just kind of pushes us to be our best. He, we schedule a lot of practices, and that's tough a lot of times because oftentimes I get home really late and have some homework to do. But most of all, I think it's just because he pushes us to be the very best that we can be. And what can you take away from this tournament? Well, we played the best small schools in the, in the country for, for traditional small public schools, give or take a couple of schools that could not come. Uh, our goal every year, we, one of our goals is to win a small school national championship. So we can see that um, we are on the right track um, and uh, things are looking great for us to have a shot. Uh, but what we uh, want to do is make sure to keep the uh, enthusiasm and the motivation and the hard work up and not get burned out and, and, and make sure that, uh, you know, we, we play our best when it, when it really, really matters. And how do you feel going into the spring season with state and nationals coming up? So our next event is the Governor's Cup region in February, uh, followed by the Governor's Cup state in March. Uh, this team is very ambitious. They set lots of goals this year. Our goal every year is to win the fourth region championship, not just in quick recall, but in overall. Uh, we have a streak of 10 years, so we're working hard right now to try to keep that streak alive. Um, the attitude that all of my players have right now is at 110%. And when you have that kind of attitude, then you have a confidence builder like we had Saturday. Um, things are looking great. Uh, we had a conversation about just let's keep it going, but be aware of uh, burnout and attrition and make sure to take some breaks when you need to. Thanks to everyone who helped out with today's show. Until next time, this is G-Town You Know. What do you like better, whales or goldfish? Goldfish. Yeah. Why? Because they're gold. Goldfish. I had to say whales. Uh, definitely whales. Goldfish. Goldfish. Uh, why? Because they're gold. Mm, goldfish. Why? Eh, I've known them longer. Hey, I'm Ash, and I'm here with... Craig Rosenberry. Uh, goldfish or whales? <laughs> whales. Uh, why? Because I like them more. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, this is Matt Jones from Kentucky Sports Radio, and when I'm not doing the show, I'm always watching the Scotty Channel. Thank you for watching, too.